gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be a QA. and a um, I don't look very put together. Today is my cleaning day. Um, so I didn't want to like do makeup or anything because we are going on a trip in two days. So I want to have the house cleaned and then, you know, get things prepared. Um, this isn't a beauty video so it shouldn't matter to you guys. But the kiddos are eating. So I thought now would be a good time to film this Q&A. If you guys are new, I hope that you will consider subscribing. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I did ask you guys to um, ask me questions on Instagram. Um, so if you don't follow me, it's, I think, linked down below. And I'll put my name right here. So I did get some questions. So... Um, the first question is, we'll start off easy, some of these go a little juicy, so if you're not into, you know, um, personal things, don't watch this video. <laughs> um, so the first one is, what's everybody's favorite color? So I personally like green, my husband likes purple, um, Parker's used to be red and now he says it's blue and then, you know, Ari's 11 months, almost 12 months old, so who knows. What is the best part about being a mom? Um, I feel like... Why am I... Why is my face getting all teary? I just feel like watching them grow. Because... Them coming into these little personalities is just... It's absolutely precious. Like, Parker as a baby and Ari as a baby have been completely separate things. Completely different personalities. And that's just... I don't know, it's so crazy that babies can have such different personalities. Um, and I love watching Parker grow and do different activities. It's the best. How is Parker doing in school? So he's doing pretty good for you that are new. He did go into pre-K this year. VPK, so voluntary pre-K. Um, next year he will be in kindergarten. But he does pretty good. He's never been around a lot of kids that's never been something we've done i don't have mom friends so he never really got to hang out with other kids um he didn't go to daycare any of those things so this was all very very new for him um something he had to get used to he had to get used to listening to somebody that wasn't me he had to get used to you know sitting in his chair and not moving around um they did i did sign him up for speech therapy at school because he does have some trouble with certain syllables and he goes twice a week while he's there and he does go to a normal elementary school um i know vpk and like pre-k for people can be a little different for my location they do go to a regular school he's going to the elementary school that he will be going to until fifth grade um, you drop them off same time as other kids, um, you either pay for a full day or you can pick them up half day, we do half day, um, and so, yeah, he gets, you know, used to his actual school that he's gonna be going to with, you know, the kids who most likely be growing up with, um, he likes it, he likes, he likes speech therapy, it seems like, um, he likes his teacher, he's always very excited about his teachers, he comes home every day, um, they've done some kind of, like, writing your name, some kind of letter, some kind of activity, um, which is really cool. How am I doing with two kids? Um, it's definitely been hard. It's been hard on me mentally. Um, a lot of the time I feel like I'm failing Parker, if I'm honest. I feel like I'm not doing enough for him because all of my focus is mostly on Ari and I just feel really, really bad about it. Um, so when I do get the chance to spend effort and time with him I, I try to do it um, and I try to make him know that he's loved and I loved him very much loved love him very much um, you know and he's my baby still but it's hard um, what do you like doing with the kids the most we really don't do a whole incredible a lot the most thing we do is go to the park okay she seems to be okay now um, Somebody asked when baby number two is. Um, I do have two kids. I have Parker, who is four, and Ari, who is about to be a year old. Okay. Um, let's get to the other questions. Sorry, I had to screenshot them, so I have to scroll. Um, so somebody asked, do I, or if I got pregnant again, would you be happy or scared? Um, at this point, I wouldn't be scared of a pregnancy because I've already done it. I already know how it goes. My first pregnancy, sure, I was terrified, and then... My next pregnancy, I was only scared because I felt 
bad for having another kid because I loved Parker so incredibly much and he was my baby. I was really scared how it was going to take a toll on him, but he's done really well at being a big brother. Um, again, I think I, the only reason I would be scared again is because I feel like Ari would be left out or something and that's just how my brain works. But no, I wouldn't be scared of pregnancy. Um, a little nervous because I did have you know, some issues this time around. My first pregnancy, I had a little bit of issues. Second pregnancy, even more scary things. Um, and if we wanted kids in the future, as of right now, we don't want any more kids. We are perfectly fine with the two kids we have. Um, so somebody asked if I am on birth control, and I actually am. I do take, currently I'm taking the mini pill um, because I am breastfeeding as well. Um, so the mini pill plus breastfeeding because breastfeeding can be used um, as birth control also. And, you know, when I do stop, I will switch over to the com combination pill. Um, another question was about breastfeeding and how it's going, how I'm doing, how do I keep motivated. Um, and to be honest, it's, it's not some incredible thing. Uh, breastfeeding is definitely hard. It definitely takes a, whole, a toll on your body, your mental health as well, especially in the beginning when it's frustrating and new. Um, that can be really hard. As most of you know, I did breastfeed Parker for two years, um, which was a long time. It took a, a lot of, you know, strength and just took a lot to keep going. Um, and I'm hopefully going to do that with Ari as well. We are about to be a year strong of breastfeeding and she's still you know going strong so I'll go as long as she would like me to go um I don't use anything you know to help my milk at this point um you know your your boobs kind of get used to what you need um how much baby needs things of that nature if you guys have any actual questions about breastfeeding you can always dm me on instagram and I will do my best to get back at you um because I know it can be, especially if you're a new, new, new mom, it can be something you're worried about. Um, she's, she's eating. Um, so no, another thing I got about was if I am going to get a boob job at some point. I have always, always thought I will get a boob job, um, after having kids. Definitely not before I'm done having kids, but when you're done having kids, um, a lot of people get boob jobs, obviously, because your boobs definitely change. Things are just different. Um, and I, so, um, yeah, I, I just always assumed that I was going to get a boob job. Um, I might, I'm not sure at this point. I don't know how much I care. I know it make me feel better as a person, as like a postpartum mom of two. Um, but I don't know how much I care at this point. Like they're not incredibly saggy right now or anything like that. Um, but I feel like it would make me feel better. I would feel better about myself. But I just, I don't know, that money could go towards something else, like a fun trip or, you know, something at this point um, to do with a kiddo, something like that. So I'm not really sure about that. Who knows? Um, and then another one is how do we get alone time? And I've been being completely honest, we do not. Um, <laughs> Ari co-sleeps, so she's, you know, in the bed. Um, Parker's in his own bed. He did co-sleep for two years. So he co-slept until we were done breastfeeding and then he moved into his other room and he did, you know, fine sleeping in his own bed and hopefully Ari does the same thing, but we really don't get alone time and we are not the people that have a bunch of family and friends around that we feel comfortable to have them watch the kids and we go on a date. We don't go on a date. If we're going anywhere, the kids come with us. That's just, you know, how our life is. Um, I figure that when the kids are older, you know, we have time. We have time to do a lot of things because um, we did have kids at a younger age. So I, it does make me sad that we don't get, you know, that great experience now to go on dates and whatnot while the kids are young. But we will at some point and that's okay. Um, I wish we could because I feel like that would, you know, bond us better. But we get home time. <laughs> we snuggle on the couch. We watch movies together. We eat dinner as a family. And that's just, you know, that's how our life is. Um, somebody asked about periods. And I don't have a period. I have not had a period since I got pregnant with Ari. Um, I think with Parker, it took about a year postpartum as well for me to get a period. But again, she's about, she'll be a year old January 16th and I haven't had a period yet 
Mara is now joining me. She's done eating. Um, so another thing I got asked about was just kind of postpartum um, bleeding and if you breastfeed, like the boobs leaking, how long does that last? So for me, bleeding lasted a long time. Um, it lasted about the six weeks. So until you're like cleared to do stuff is basically how long my postpartum bleeding lasted. I know some people's don't. Some people only last a week and then they feel back to normal. With both kids, that was not my experience. Um, it wasn't heavy bleeding. Heavy bleeding was about, I want to say, two weeks of that. Um, and then it got a lot lighter. And I did, you know, wear the adult diapers uh, for those two weeks. Um, and then, you know, switch to pads. Um, oh, sorry, she can't decide where she wants to go. Um, so, yeah, I mean, everybody's different. It just kind of depends. I, I, there's not really anything you can do, I don't think, to, you know, help that along or anything. Um, then for, um, you know, boob leakage, my boobs still leak and we're a year postpartum. Um, it kind of differs with everybody again. I wear nursing pads. A lot of people feel like they don't have to and they don't wear nursing pads, but I do. We go through quite a lot of them. It's not such a problem anymore besides like the nighttime um, because she does, you know, co-sleep. So she sometimes wakes up and wants the boobs. Other times, no. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, so there's that. Another thing people asked about was if we had another child, would I want it to be a boy or a girl? Um, because I do have one of each. I honestly don't care. Um, I just want a healthy baby and that would be the main thing is because this pregnancy with Ari I thought I wasn't getting a healthy baby I thought I was getting a baby who you know we were gonna have issues she wasn't gonna be a hundred percent because that is what the doctors made it seem um but she's beautiful and perfect and you know everything that I could hope for and my little munchkin um, so people ask about moving, if we're going to move. At some point, we would like to move. We don't want to live in Florida forever. It kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.